instructor eats today's topic fresh mummies and I will help you by giving three exercises to recover from it. <laughs> This channel must never be considered a substitute for advice provided by a doctor. Well, hello there and welcome back to Nikki's Fitness World. Now, is there any way we can prevent it from happening, the diastasis recti? Well, not 100%, but the one most important thing that we can do, ladies, is to not crunch. So, do not crunch when you're laying down do not crunch when you're getting up off the bed. Always try to use the side. Other important influential factors are the age. The older you are when you're getting pregnant, you're more likely to develop this condition. The size of your body, if you are petite like me, you are more likely to develop. And also the hormonal changes when you're pregnant if you remember, we were talking about the relaxing, the hormone that is helping our joints to relax and to allow the baby to grow and for us not to feel too much of pain. While the relaxing is going to help the linea alba, which is the connective tissue between our right and left side of the rectus abdominis, to relax and expand. Stretch. Anyway, if you're there, you gave birth, uh, you had your green light uh, from your uh, healthcare professional to start training, but you don't want to go straight into the weight area, nor into the strong core classes. Remember, we've talked about these ladies as well, yeah, in this video up here. Because unfortunately, you cannot crunch down all the baby bump uh, just in, I don't know, a session, 10 session, 20 sessions, definitely not. First, maybe you want to check if you are having this condition, the diastasis recti, where the rectus abdominis, which is like the six pack, the superficial uh, part of the, the abdominal muscles, are well apart, just like it's a gap in between the right and the left side of those muscles. This also looks unfortunately like a pouch up here. You can check that by yourself just by seeing if you can fit in between the right and left side of your rectus abdominis. If you can fit in the fingers, if you're laid down, just find that linea alba that we, we've talked about and try to crunch a bit and if you feel a gap in there then you are having it but don't worry it is quite common so it's not something that we cannot work on if you don't know or you're not sure how to look for it as I've shown you uh, you can definitely double check with your healthcare professional now the worst thing you can do ladies is to force your body, is to try to crunch, is to try to plan. Again, you cannot get, get rid of your baby bump in few sessions and you can worsen actually by just starting to crunch or to do the sit-ups or to plan. So do not go straight into this after you gave birth. On the other side, the best thing you can do is to become aware of your posture of your inner muscles, yeah, of your transverse abdominis, which again is an inner muscle, and of your obliques. That's what we will gonna actually be focusing on today. These side muscles, if we're strengthening them enough, they're gonna act like a corset, like a natural corset. So they're gonna help with the closure. They're gonna help with the linea alba to unstretch. So, we have the three exercises and we're going to start right now with the pelvic tilt. This is the first one, the pelvic tilt. Remember, pass yourself. Being aware of your posture and engaging the core muscles. The easiest way to do the pelvic tilt is from a laying on our back position. An anterior pelvic tilt, we're going to look just like that. From here, we want to stick our lumbar spine onto the mat to push through, yeah? Just imagine you're having like a um, stick through your belly button and it's sticking you to the mat. From here, we want to engage our core, to engage our glutes all together and the 
pelvic floor and try to push it a bit forward off the mat for one, two seconds and relax. And again, breathe in. And as we exhale, we want to engage. Breathe in. You can see that, yeah? Can you see it? That we're now we're relaxed. When we're, we're engaging it, yeah, we're just squeezing as much as we can the glutes and the lower core. And relax. And squeeze. And relax. And squeeze. And relax. This is the easiest way to become aware. You can do this from a sitting position, you can do this from a standing position, but you definitely want to start from a laying on your back position because this is the easiest way. Because you can help yourself with the mat by pushing your lumbar spine into the mat. Next one we have in the side plank. Uh, if you remember, if you followed me until now, you've seen that throughout my pregnancy I kept on telling you about side plank, side plank raises, uh, the isometric hold that are going to be very helpful when it comes to the expulsion, when it comes to holding the baby and engaging the core without putting pressure onto the rib subdelics. That's how important they are. Now, they're going to help us to regain our strength and our core engagement. Remember, we want our shoulder to be perpendicular onto the elbow, our elbow to be on the same line with our lower heel. And from here, we can just hold the So there you have it 
and get fresh mummies. Uh, three of the most important exercises to help you with the astasis recti recovery. Again, do not try to plan. Do not try to crunch or to do the sit-ups. These are not the first exercises you want to do when you're having this condition. Make sure you are starting with the correct postural awareness. 